this is so-called the spiny lobster. Lobsters and landmines. These two things may seem to have nothing in common, but a new discovery shows how a lobster's sense of smell may lead to better ways to detect hidden bombs. On the left and on the right side, that will be lobster nose. A University of Florida study shows lobster neurons involved in the sense of smell detect odors in different ways. See this one? These are the bursting cells. UF researchers studied neurons called bursting cells that continuously send signals even when other neurons involved in smell remain quiet. Computer models help researchers determine the role of these newly discovered bursting neurons that may help researchers develop electronic devices to detect dangerous materials. This discovery potentially can be used to, uh, to create uh, devices like uh, uh, electronic noses that would help us to sniff out, you know, potentially dangerous chemicals, uh, explosive. Traditional neurons involved in scent tell an animal what a smell is. With this new model, researchers determine that bursting cells can help an animal determine where a smell is coming from. A good example of how bursting cells work would be to imagine you are a mouse trying to determine if a piece of cheese is safe to retrieve when a cat is nearby. I can tell using this bursting cell ensemble, I can tell that I have a time to get to this you know, piece of cheese and avoid being caught by Predator. In addition to improving electronic sensors, this finding will help scientists better understand the sense of smell in all animals and humans. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Pilovich.